Good afternoon, family, friends, and esteemed faculty. Congratulations to the class of 2016. I stand up here full of gratitude, honor, and love. I stand here with my cohorts, the fellow educators who look forward to changing the world, one place at a time, one child at a time. I stand here with a sense of belonging, accomplishment, and pride. Thank you, Antioch, for existing, for creating a place where humans are valued, a place where our voices, our hearts, and our spirits are able to become. Here we have learned to evolve with our times, to become agents of a revolution, to believe in the magic within a classroom, to remember where we come from and honor that space and to reimagine what it is to learn. Leaving Antioch is bittersweet, for every day here is an inspiration. Every person here motivates the other, and every soul here is appreciated. However, the world awaits us educators, us leaders, with open arms. We are so much more aware of the work we must do, having been a part of this community. As Freire taught us, we are not human beings. We are human becomings. Knowing that we must always evolve with our environment will make us stronger, both in heart and in service. We are awake and ready to step into our schools, our communities, and help every child we face reach their ultimate potential. We will not sit on the sidelines and allow for our schools to become part of the machine. We will be the change. My mother always told me, I will not leave you an inheritance, but I will leave you with an education. She traveled here with my father in the 1970s to escape the military regime in Argentina after three of my father's friends disappeared. They rebuilt their lives and worked at my father's mechanic shop to make a name for our family. I tell you my parents' story because it is part of my becoming. At the age of 22, I received my BA. Shortly after this, I found my calling at one of the finest institutions LA has to offer, New Road School. Currently, I serve as the Dean of Studies at New Road's High School, and my research here at Antioch has allowed me to lead with a new view on the world and an understanding of what is necessary for a 21st century education. In my evolution, I have learned about the atrocities in our educational institutions. Rarely are students taught about the value in their own stories or the importance of their voice. Our histories are censored in a land where our families sought refuge. Let's not forget our stories and those of the children we face every day. We know that we leave here more aware of the dangers the government has caused in our education. Our youth are expected to become products of the new world, a world where corporate business owns our happiness and at times even our education. Thanks to our evolution here, we know how powerful our voices are against it. To the class of 2016, we share many memories together. Keeping a journal of our place in eco-literacy, reading and analyzing Freire for days on end in history of ideas, trying to encapsulate a year's worth of research in a pecha pucha, and reading nighttime stories to one another in conflict mediation are just some of my favorite memories with you. In every memory, I remember your smiles. I remember the conversations we had about how we will make each one of our places better. In every memory, I imagine the goodness of the world thanks to our work. We are all becoming. We are not complete yet. As long as we remember we have more to learn, we'll be able to promote change and see the potential not only in one another, but as in the world as a whole. Thank you for this joyous ride, Antioch, and congratulations once more to the Dreamers, the class of 2016.